Okay, so Dakin is back, and he is now the Helverine. So, sorry, that was a big spoiler straight away. Um, so, um, basically, yeah, what's happened, everyone? Uh, we saw that Dakin had been... Um, so, basically, with Dakin, things were looking up for him. He was getting more stories. Uh, he was coming to grips with the fact that um, Wolverine was his father. Um, he started to take over the identity of Fang and join the Alpha Flight. But... Um, as Marvel does it, you can't have good things for long enough. And um, in 2024, in January, in Wolverine Volume 7, he was absolutely brutally killed by Sabretooth in an instance which would start the Sabretooth War. Um, yeah. Now, because he's a son of Wolverine and such a cool backstory, he wasn't going to stay dead for long, which brings up to date the most current story, um, Helverine. Now, if you're not familiar with the original, um, basically Wolverine becomes the Ghost Rider for a bit. Uh, and in this one, it sort of seems like the same thing is about to keep going. The way it's written is very clever. Uh, Borgagol had um, just been defeated by the Ghost Rider and Wolverine. Um, we have a glimpse of Helverine slashing bodies and a group of cannibals who are performing a ritual. Uh, Wolverine is captured, shown this footage, and he denies it being him because he's like, no, no, I can prove it wasn't me. Um, but then who else would it be? It looks just like him, and they're slashing everyone away with free claws. Well, free claws, hang on a second. Wolverine thinks he knows who this is. And that is the end of that issue. So we basically know what's happening. Dakin is a new Helverine. It'll be interesting to see how this story progresses from here. I personally think Dakin is an incredible hero and I would love to see more stories involving him especially if he is now more on the good side rather than his evil ways although being a Helverine probably isn't the best way to go so let's see how this story goes and let's see what happens with Dakin